I'm just at my customer's yard. Morning, people. Uh, I was meant to do this, this some pads on one of them, uh, on a Merc, front this some pads, because it's worth test. Uh, but is uh, I didn't realise he was working it today, because I really, why is them lights on it? Because I'm really uh, organised, you know what I mean? Because I, yeah, I don't know why, I just assumed he was going to be in, obviously he's working it, isn't he? Uh, so, uh, Alex just rang up, uh, that's better. It seems more lively now. Uh, Alex just rang up, he wants me to just do a quick job for him. A driver got stuck on site and he got pulled off. He got pulled off uh, and they've damaged his tailboard or something. And uh, the lad that owns it just wants it bodging back together because it looks like an eyesore going down the road. Uh, so I don't know what's happened. So we'll go find out, won't we? My van, you know, I'm sure the elves come at night and just get all my tools out and throw them everywhere. That, people, is one of them Chinese night eaters, what I bought for the for the bus as well. You know, now the, the weather's turning a bit. I always wanted one last year and I thought, ooh, I'll, I'll get one. 120 odd quid, I think that was, off uh, eBay. So that's another mission, though, isn't it, to fit that. It's to keep Leodag warm, really. That's all I bought it for, really. Right, here's this job, look, look at it, you know. <laughs> Look at this, people. Look. Fancy towing it off there. Right. Yeah, it's not doing it, it's just bouncing about, isn't it? But I'm thinking, like, if we cut that bit there, like down there, and then that bit should just bend down. What drive, guys? All right, now we simply hammer down, don't we? I've had to just chop it out and then just tie wrap it because that don't really do it anyway. It's just for loose, loose debris, bricks and that, because it straps them down. Like the driver is saying like, well, now what do I do then? Do you? I says, well, you've got two choices, driver. I can go get some steel for it, because you need eight-foot angle steel there. I can go get some steel from Ocho's, just up the road here about half hour. Drive up the road, go get some steel, come back here, ask that bloke in there if I can borrow his welder and weld a new bit of steel, because that's what it wants really. It wants that completely chopping off. And he's like, oh, no. No time. So I'm like, oh, all right. Well, two choices. You can go with it like that, or, or weld a new bit of steel to it. So... I think he's I think he's opting for the cable tie option. <laughs> right, this job here, I couldn't see this job the other day. Uh, I'll play it back if I've still got the recording. I don't know whether I've still got the recording or not. Just to put you in the picture, you know what I mean, people? It's a scar in your horse box, but you've had this since no, uh, Nigel, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You've had this since new, Nigel, ain't you? Yeah, yeah. You ain't had many problems with it, but it's got an air leak now, Nigel, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, really good out there. Yeah, you need to know one of them cylinders then, Nigel. I'll get the numbers off it then and get one ordered, shall I? Because then I'll have to bleed the clutch afterwards, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've just ordered that beer tomorrow, 130 odd quid for an aftermarket one. 300 odd pound for the original one. But it's, as Nigel said, it don't do out that horse box. It, 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 it hardly does out, so an aftermarket one will do that fine, won't it? Right, I'm interrupting this again. This is like the second interruption of this video. This is like an interruption of an interruption of an interruption. Yeah, I was editing that video last night and I thought to myself, uh, right when I'm looking at a video, uh, and, and I don't know how it works, like, because I like talking mechanical stuff on YouTube as well, but you know when you, you look at someone doing a job, you ain't got a clue how it works. Uh, I like to know how stuff works, and I thought to myself, like in my videos, about some of mine, because some of my subscribers, obviously you guys, I know for a fact I ain't got 30,000 uh, mechanics looking at my channel, so there'll be a lot of you out there that hasn't got a clue what the hell this stuff is, what we're working on. So I thought, uh, I rang up Carl, Uncle Carl, the other, the other day, I says, 
he's like computer, you know what I mean? Like oh, them computers and that. I said, you don't know anyone that'll do like, like little animations just, just to show how stuff works for you. And he says, uh, just get a whiteboard, Chris, off Amazon and some pens, because you're all right at drawing. And then you just draw it. So I said to him, ah, good idea. Nice and simple. So this is what I got, look. Here. It's patented. Painted pending, Uncle Carl, you see. See, that's the... So all I do now, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to so I just tell you how this... Obviously, I'm working now on a, on a master cylinder. I'm changing a master cylinder. So I explained to you, through through speech and vision, how it works. Well, I'll get to go anyway. Try it, can't we? Spice things up a little, doesn't it? Look, I've even bought some pens in here, look, as well. That's how, that's how really dedicated I am, people. Right, so... Let's get started. Who's this? Our dad coming in. Our dad, our dad's thinking, what the hell are you doing, Chris? Why are you drawing on your back door? <laughs> Come here. How are you doing? Got these pens in very good. Oh, Dad. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, getting code in it. Yeah. With three cylinders, because that's saying got three cylinders. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, the little three-cylinder. I know, that car, it sounds like a little tractor and all, doesn't it? Yeah. It sounds just like a little tractor. It is. It's a little tractor car. Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like that? There, look, there's my finished diagram. Right then, let me explain what this is. There's your clutch pedal there. I know that's at the wrong thing because that, if you press that down, that would pull it up. But anyway, I've done that wrong a bit. But the, the 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 basics of it is: there's your reservoir. That's what you fill up your oil with. Your 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 bloody clutch fluid. Uh, you fill that up there, and that and that feeds this master cylinder. What I'm changing: the master cylinder has got a piston in it there. So when you press that piston down with your clutch pedal, the fluid uh, it it uh, it don't compress. So, so when you press that down, the fluid has got to go somewhere. So the fluid gets pushed down through the pipe, through the through the the uh, the, the clutch pipe. <laughs> I'm good at this. Hey, the worst teacher ever. <laughs> right, yeah. So it gets pushed down there through the pipe, and then this travels. And then this is your is your slave cylinder. What's attached to your gearbox? What's this attached to your clutch? Uh, and so basically what that is doing is it's pushing the fluid down and it's mirroring the action on this cylinder here of what you do on there. So as you push that down, that arm is pushing out. And that's what I'm changing at the minute, what you see there. And then for bleeding it, I'll show you for bleeding it. You see, when you fit the new one of these, this is all empty. It's got no fluid in it whatsoever. Obviously, it's full of air, isn't it? Uh, but this pipe is full of fluid, all this pipe and this. So when you when I bleed in it, I'm going to put the pipe on here, and then bleed it with my little little bleeding thing. What I pump in and out, uh, and it pushes the fluid through here, through here, pushes all the fluid through, and then pushes the air out. The fluid's filling up here, and filling all the way up to the top here until it fills there. So then it pushes all the air out with it. That's the idea, anyway. Hmm. There. Now I've either made it more confusing or less confusing. One of the two. But anyway, back to the video. Yeah, so basically I've got that to change there. That's the master cylinder uh, for the clutch. I've got that to change because it's leaking out air at the front of the grill there. So, yeah. and that's it really. <laughs> right, so there's three bolt fix in there. One, two, three. Oh, well, you can see that. And there's a pipe down there as well to remove. This pipe here, that's the clutch fluid pipe. Uh, and then there's that breathe. That's where it's coming from there. But that will just stay with it. And then you've got a clip on top of the pedal thing. There, look, there's the clip. And there's the pipe for your air-assisted. Because without air-assisted people, oh, in the olden days, they never had air, air-assisted anything. And, uh, oh, it's hard work pushing the clutch down when it's got no air-assistant to it. So, yes, look what else I got today, look, from Beavers. I picked that up from Beavers. It's got, like, like mirrors, like glass mirrors in it. It's got lights in it as well. Corner cabinet. It says, do you want that? Because I'm going to burn it if you don't want it. I'm like, uh, of course I want it. <laughs> I'll put it somewhere. Brian Johnson. Oh, Brian, Brian. yeah, he's another one. He did them, yeah. Yeah, he's packed Brian. up. Oh, I was he packed up, Brian? Yeah, he sold it for building land. 
Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I, oh. spent, I spent years with Brady. Fucking hell, Aro Man. Did Aro, he used to do all our Aro Man? Yeah, what? his brother was called Richard. Richard, yeah, he used to work in Gypsum. Gypsum yeah. And then and then do MOTs on the weekend, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, I used to go to him. He's packed up, you see. Oh. But he's a big forest fan, I was. Oh, is he? Yeah, Melts Forest. Oh. He used to go every week. Oh, Archie, he's a big forest fan. He didn't want to let somebody have it. Shit, where that went? Well, fucking cover, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might fucking know where that went. Well, I'll tell you what, in a bit, when we lift it up, we get on, I'll get underneath. Yeah, whenever. Anyway, we'll put some oh, air in a we'll bit. Clip. Right, come on out, you little twat, man. I might have to take this cover off, you know. Uh. You know Joe Bilton, who's been on my channel a few times with their wagons? Yeah, Joe's wife, this is Joe's wife's brother, who I'm doing this for. And uh, and and he says that uh, Joe's missus was watching me the other day. I said, what the hell is she watching me for? He says, I think it's because she can see what Joe's been buying. <laughs> if he's bought any extra lorries. If he's bought any extra lorries. <laughs> Just said to me, oh, poor Joe, can't get away with it now, isn't it? Can't get away with piss all nowadays. Poor old Joe. Sorry, Joe. Get you told off, mate, don't I? Uh, not great fucking difficult to build, isn't it? What it gone down here? Oh, I'm close. Yay! We're out, we're out. There's a brand new one, look, exactly right, lovely little do. Well done, Partick. Shout out to Partick. All right, so we're going to whip that in there, you see, and under. Scoop it under. <laughs> right, what do I do with that clip now? Oh, here we go, people! What do I do with that little mess? What's that? Oh, I'm terrible, you know. I'm absolute worst person ever. We're losing stuff, you know. You see, under my spanner, look. I'm terrible for things like that. Oh, you down and think, fuck me, where are you? Oh. And then you go back five minutes later and it's there where you're fucking looking at. Normally, yeah, where you're fucking with me, it's not. <laughs> it's never fucking there. Right, that's all tight now. Uh, I lost a nut, Dan. It's gone to there. It's just started up now because it's air suspension at the front. To lift it up, so I've got to bleed it from downhill, from down at the bottom, where the, where the clutch servo is, bleed it from there uphill. Because these are a nightmare to bleed. You can't bleed it downhill. Well, I, I never have success doing it anyway. The only way I find out I can do it is with my little homemade do for a dog down there. The reservoir is about empty, so as soon as I bleed it down there, pump it up. As soon as that's full, it should be fully bled. Need to get that nut cross. No, that nut's fell into the abyss, hasn't it? It's gone into the great abyss. So I've got to get another one. All it is, nice is if you just keep an eye on that there, and if, if it's, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, it's going to start rising as I'm bleeding it from down there. I just don't want it to overspill and piss everywhere. Yeah. So as long as it, as long as you can see it's at the right level, you, you tell them when to stop. Yeah. Dot four, in the finest dot four. Right, let me get my little homemade little bleeding system on the job. Ah, it's here, people. Oh, look at that, the way it's got all that thick grease on it as well. Off my grease cartridge. That's absolutely lovely. Look how high it is, look. Now I just boosted the, because it's there, spinach at the front. Look how high it goes to it. It's fucking handy, that isn't it, going underneath. I like that noise. Very handy. As long as it don't drop down on me. Oh, I've got these covers on. Who put these covers? I can't believe they this year. And you've still got covers on it. Oh, you can't see all these pissing covers on, can you? Oh. It's there, look. There's the slates in. Then the bleed is just behind the pipe there. But it's going to be awkward with this pissing thing on. I don't know why it's still got this cover on it this year, I'm sure. I mean, the first thing I do with out like this is take them off and just leave them off. Because they're just a hindrance to life. I'll just take it off, yeah. I'm going to take this off. And I just said, what's that cover up? I said, it just covers the gearbox up, which does nothing. Right, let's just take it off, because I'll be fighting it if not. Okay, Lama. Oh, no, I just got a bit of matting on. This is the I'll lay on that now. <laughs> oh, 
Now we can see it better without all that ramble on. Uh, Nige, yeah. what about if I get oil on this tree thing? Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, freaking hell. Spilt it already all over it, Nige. That didn't last long, did it? Fucking hell, gone again. Pushing itself off, is not it? The park keeps pushing itself off. Right, Nige, I'm going to start the bleeding system. Yeah. Just going to pump it nice and steady through. Right, so I'll stop then now. Yeah. We'll try her. <coughs> try your gear, see if it goes in gear. Huh? Yeah. Perfecto! Winner, winner, chicken dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Put all this stuff back together again, man. Ka-chung, ka-chung, ka-chung. What's that off? Someone will know. In the comments, guys. It's on film. I'm putting that back on again. I know I'm taking the mick out of people that pull back on, but it's it's easier to put that side on than it is to take that side off. <laughs> and I go for the easiest option all the time. Wow. Straight behind that one. There, uh, that's all you get out of him. That's it. And that? Yeah, little dog. That's it, basically. That's it. That's all it does. And that's the maximum you do, Lady Dog, and then back in the van a lot. <laughs> you really contributed a lot there, Lady Dog, with that with that job. Didn't he do well on that job? He did ever so I don't know how he does it, you know. He does ever so well, does Lady Dog. Cheers, Nige! See you later. People, I've just reached 30,000 subs as well. Yeah I have! <laughs> I can't believe I reached 30,000 subs. It's unreal, isn't it? Ah, Leila, when I first started doing it, he says, you'll be lucky, Dad. You you won't even reach 10,000 subs. And now I'm at 30,000 subs. What did she say? You'll never, ever get one of them YouTube uh, thing is like a medal or whatever you get. You get like a badge or something, don't you? Off YouTube, sent to you. We thought it was 50,000 subs, but it turns out you need 100,000 subs. So uh, so I'm still pumping these content out until I get that, that, that medal thing. <laughs> hey, mobile mechanic. Go, 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 go to over 100,000 subs. That'd, that'd be unreal, wouldn't it? Isn't it? A man that works out of his van has got 100,000 subs. Oh, man, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, guys, thank you very much for all you, you, you lot that look at my channel, obviously. The thing with my channel is I've got a very loyal following. Obviously, I might have 30,000 subs, uh, but I know that, that, that most of my sub subscribers will watch my channel, which is good, isn't it? and it's, it's very... Uh, what do you call it? You know, it's very... Humbling like isn't it to think that someone goes out of the way and watches my content and then comments and all and and press the like button or whatever they do Or even if you don't comment on that even just looking at it obviously I mean uh, And it's nice to meet you guys and all you know when I'm down the road and that I'm out and about and I meet you guys It's nice to meet you guys. It's nice to talk to all these different people So thank you very much guys for your subscription and thank you very much for viewing uh, Yeah, I don't often say thanks for it. I don't often mention about my subscribers and that but I do appreciate it so thank you very much. Anyway. You take a little tumble there. Right, uh, this is the one that I've got to do. This some pads on. Uh, I just thought I'd pop in here because I know for a fact I ain't got a hub, hub nut socket. So I'm just going to whip that off quick, measure it, uh, and then I can source one. I'm going to do that job tomorrow so I can have a ring around tonight, see who's got one. That's my plan. Oh, fucking hell! Oh! Oh my god! Is this how this job's gonna be? Let's hope it's just that one! Oh! Oh! Snapped it! On off! Still don't work! Snapped it! Oh, that's handy. I don't need a socket, do I? A special tool. I'll do it with my big adjustables, people. That's handy, look, isn't it? Just get the big adjustables on that, look. 
Uh, and then there, they'll, they'll be perfectly fine because what I'll do is pull a load of silicon around there. <laughs> well, it's just to keep the grease in, so that's fine. Well, I'll put this cap back on and then I'll uh, come back tomorrow and do this, the, the distant pads. Look, you want to keep them, look, because all you do with them, look, is, is, uh, <laughs> is put, uh, put some silicon in here, these holes, and then put them, put them back in there, look like that. Because then it, look, it, it looks right, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's just a cap. I know all you perfectionist people out there, I'm saying, Chris, that's terrible. But I'll, I'll, I'll run it past the customer, obviously, and see whether he thinks it's okay, which I'm pretty sure he'll be fine about it. If not, uh, if he's not fine about it, I'll drill it. It's, it's, it's my time, isn't it? So obviously he's paying for my time. I'll drill it, tap it, and, uh, and do all that. But I'll ask him. look at that people that's a beautiful cabinet isn't it what's it got in it ah that's the spirit just what my missus wants in a cabinet merch <laughs> in a nice little surprise for her when she gets back from work right guys catch you on the next one guys see you later Woo! yeah you will be boom bloody good show chris